In October of 2018, Tyrone Johnson called 911 from his Tampa Bay, Florida home. He claimed that he had been attacked by his girlfriend, Stephanie Willis, and he had to defend himself. When the police arrived on scene, not only did they find Stephanie's body, they also found the body of her son, Ricky, as well. <laughs> So I'm going to move your front, all right? Yeah. Can you stand? Just... Can you stand on one leg by yourself? Are you sure you're okay? Right. This is what's going to happen, all right? I'm going to take your, your left hand out, put it on top of your head for me. That's it. Right, so move them up. Right in front. Just have to have a seat, man. Go ahead and have a seat. You're good. You're good. There you go. Okay. There you go, man. Did you like a big water or anything like that? No? Okay. It's all right. We need you to breathe for us, all right? Because if you're hyperventilating, if you pass out, just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Do it with me, right? Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, man, okay? We're good, man. I appreciate it. Deep breaths, deep breaths, okay? Deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, we don't want you to pass out on us, man. We need you to breathe, all right? Because if you keep breathing like that, you're going to pass out. Yeah. Just breathe in through your nose. There you go. There you go. Just breathe, man. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. Before asking Tyrone any questions about the incident, they want to make sure he understands what is happening. To do this, they will begin asking basic questions to see how he answers. What? I'm 42. 42? Okay. Okay. Tyrone, let's just let's bring it down, okay? Let's just bring it down for a second. All right? You said you were in the Marines? Yeah? Okay. How long were you in the Marines? Ten years? Okay. Okay. What do you do for a living time? I was homeless, sir. Say again? I was homeless. You were homeless? Yeah. Okay. Are you homeless right now, or, or were you? We, 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 I couldn't understand you. I'm sorry, man. Just, you, 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 man. Just, just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth for me. Let's try to calm it down a little bit. All right? Let's just try to calm it down a little bit, okay? I just want to have a conversation with you. Take some water, okay? Take some water. There you go. Okay. Real, real calm, okay? I don't want you to spill it all over yourself one night, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Put this right down here, man. Here. Let's not look at your hands right now, okay? Let's not look at your hands. Tyrone, Tyrone, listen to me. Listen to me. Tyrone. Tyrone. Hear me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't, don't look at your hands right now, okay? Listen. 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 Here's what I want, here's what I want to do, man, okay? My name is Joe, okay? I'm a, I'm a detective at the sheriff's office, okay? This is Dave. He's my partner, okay? All we want to do is make sure that you're okay right now, okay? Are you hurt? I was trying to leave. Okay. Well, we're going to get to that, man. But listen, right now, I, just, I want to talk about Tyrone for, for a second, okay? <laughs> just listen to me, man, because you, you, I, I want you to, I, I, I'm going to need you to calm down because I can't understand you. And I want, and at this point, man, Dave and I want to listen to you, okay? We do. But right now, Tyrone, listen to me. Just, <laughs> let's just calm it down, okay? All right? Can you do that for me? You think we can try? You think we can try to do that? 
Yeah? Okay. All right. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Okay? Tyrone, you told me that you were in the Marines for 10 years, huh? Okay, when did you get out of the Marines? Two. Two. Two thousand. Two. He. Two thousand three. Two thousand three? Okay. Where, did you go overseas at all? Yeah. Where'd you go? Cuban. Haitian crisis. I'm sorry, say again? Cuban. Haitian crisis. The Cuban Haitian crisis? Yeah. Oh, so you did like a lot of uh, the relief over there and stuff like that? I fought. Yeah. In Iraq. Yeah. You fought in Iraq too? Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your service. Okay? Um, but listen, Tyrone, keep breathing for me. Keep breathing. Okay? Keep breathing. All right? You good? You want some more water? No more water? Okay. Do you know where you are right now, Tyrone? Where are you? Jail. You're not in jail. You're not in jail. Okay. You're over at our. You're at a police station. Okay. You're at the sheriff's office in the in in, in our one of our interview rooms. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay. All right. Um, listen, man. Um, I do want to get to what happened tonight. Okay. There's a couple of things I want to go over first. Okay, to make sure that you're okay. All right. They also want to make sure that Tyrone didn't take any drugs that would make him unaware of what he was doing. Did you take drink any alcohol today? Yes. What did you drink? Mike's. What? Mike's. Mike's? Yes. Like the hard lemonade stuff? Yeah. How many? One, two. One or two? Okay. Are you a heavy drinker or do you drink a lot? No. no? Okay. So are you feeling the effects of the alcohol at all? No? Not at all? Okay. Do you smoke cigarettes? No? Good for you. That's good, man. Tyrone, I, I want to talk to you about what happened tonight, okay? Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. Um, are you hurt or injured right now? Just my leg, sir. Just your leg? What, what happened there? I had surgery three weeks ago. You had surgery three weeks ago? Yes. Okay. What was it for? A war injury. A war injury? Yes. Okay. What happened? I got crushed by Howard's base plate, sir. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, what did, um, have they, have you been treating it and whatnot? Yes. Yes? Okay, good. I see you got an ace bandage around, around your foot. That's why, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. Um, but other than that, are you, are you, are you medically, are you okay right now? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes? Okay. All right. Tyrone, I want to, before we get into what we got to go into tonight, okay? I want to talk to you about what happened, okay? Because right now, myself and, and Dave are going to be the people who want to who, who wanna listen to you, okay? All right? He's my partner. Me, me and this guy, this guy and I, we, we've been working together for a long time, okay? I trust this man with my life, okay? He's a good dude, all right? I think you know a thing or two about that, right? Trusting somebody? Okay. Well, Tyrone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a couple of things to you, okay? With the legal part of the interrogation out of the way, the detectives begin asking Tyrone about the incident itself. This is um, a, an awful situation, it sounds like, okay? Can you tell me what happened today? Even though it was difficult to make out what Tyrone was saying, the detectives are able to put together the pieces of his story. Tyrone claimed that both he and Stephanie had been drinking, and he decided to change the channel so he could watch football. Stephanie wanted to watch something else, so they began to argue until Ricky entered the room and attempted to defend his mother. Stephanie then picked up a PlayStation, ready to throw it at Tyrone, so he grabbed his gun and he fired it at Stephanie and then at her son. The detectives realize that anyone watching the interrogation would not be able to understand what Tyrone is saying, so they get him to calm down and go through the story again. I know this is this is really this is really tough for you right now. Okay, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty understanding you. So I need you to take a couple big deep breaths 
because I want to be able to understand your answers to the questions I'm going to ask you. Okay? I understand you're upset. All right? <clears throat> when you were in the bedroom and you said, pushed you off your knee roller, you fell to the ground. Is that a yes? Yes, sir. Okay. You're on the ground. Yes, sir. Is your bag right next to you? Yes, sir. The bag is up. I had drug it a little bit. Okay. Describe your bag to me. It's a Marine Corps bag, sir. Marine Corps it's, bag? It's already packed, sir, because I had, and the rest of my stuff was in the trunk because I had just came back a couple of weeks before my search. Okay. When you say your stuff's in that bag, what, what, are you, what kind of stuff are we talking about? Just a little bit of clothes that I have. Okay. So now you're on the ground. Okay. Who's in the bedroom right now? You're on the ground. She's in there. She's yelling at you. And, and she's in the bed. I pushed him. Okay. Well, let me see something. Do you have a scratch on your neck? I don't know, sir. Lean your head this way. No. It's just, it's, it's your, it's your um, veins now. Okay. So you're on the ground. You, and, and she's yelling at you. And what is that doing? He's in there, too. And I'm telling them I'm not doing anything to your mom. Okay. She pushed me off my shoulder. I'm trying to leave, and he was on this shoulder, and I pushed him off. When you say he's on that shoulder, what is he doing? And I, to what you? are you doing to my mom? And I told her I'm not doing anything to your mom. Is he hitting you? No, sir. He was just on my shoulder, asking me, "What am I doing to his mom?" Okay, so he's 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 just yes, sir, up I against you, saying, "What are you doing to my mom?" And I pushed him off of and me. And you sir. pushed him off of you. Yes, sir. Okay. That's, where where was at that point? Right at the foot of the bed, or just right where the bed with the PlayStation. Okay, so you're on, are, when you say you're on the ground, are you sitting? Are you laying down? I'm sitting. I can't. This is the bed, sir. My knee roller is where you are. Okay. And I'm like, she was, you know, my knee roller, I'm sitting here. The bed, the wall, my crutches, which I was trying to grab after I pushed off of me. I said, I'm not doing anything I'm trying to leave. Okay. And that is you standing there with the PlayStation. Where's the door? Behind. Behind her? Behind. Yes. Okay. So she's blocking your way to the door? Yes. And I wouldn't say blocking, sir. She but she's trying. in between you and the door? Yes, sir. And are you sitting on your butt on the floor? Yes, sir. All right. So now you push off of you. And you said she's standing there with what in her hands? The PlayStation. All right. How, show me how she has this PlayStation. She just has it up like she's about to throw it at me, sir. Okay, show me where she has it at. She has it up just like this. Right sir. here in front of her? Yes, sir. What Did, did she say what she's going to do with this thing? She's or? getting ready to throw it at me, sir. She's getting ready to throw it at you? Yes, sir. I'm okay. not getting my things. Okay. What would you do next? I just picked my gun up and started fucking her, sir. Okay. Did, you, did it hit her? So, okay. I don't know. Did she fall to the kept, ground? She fell. And I just kept flying. And then I rolled up as it said. And then my husband was coming back. And I just kept on flying. Okay. All right. Thank you for telling me that. When she, when you, when she was hit, she fell straight to the ground? And or did she leave? Did she I think leave? she fell by my knee roller. By your knee roller? Yes. Still in the bedroom? Yes. Where's the PlayStation? I don't know where it's at. This time right. I think it fell over. It fell over? Did you move that PlayStation at all from the time you fired those rounds until oh, the cops showed up? Oh, sir. Whose blood's on your hand? It's hers. Her blood. Okay. And once you start firing, did you fire too? I just fired, sir. You just started just firing. Fired. So you're, now you're sitting on the ground on your butt I'm firing. Fired. So they're basically standing up. Let's say you're sitting on the floor and they're standing up. Is that, is that, is that accurate? Yes, sir. And she had the PlayStation. Just she's, like, she's holding PlayStation like and, this? And I just you just started firing. I mean, were you doing this? I was just like, firing, sir. Or were you firing at her? I was just firing. Was she looking at you? Was she facing you when you were firing? We were, I'm sure we were yelling. I'm sorry? We were yelling and was trying to talk to my dad at the same time. Okay. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm left-handed, sir. So you have a gun. What, what, what hand did you have a gun in? And you were on the phone with your dad when the shots yes, were fired? Sir. 
the phone was somewhere because I could hear him. So, so. Okay. The detectives decide to let forensic take pictures and bag up Tyrone's clothing while they talk about what to do next. They want to give Tyrone some more time to calm down so he can answer some more questions clearly. Some of Tyrone's story is not matching up with the evidence found at the crime scene. They are starting to believe that when Stephanie told Tyrone that she was glad his son took his own life, that statement cost her and her son their lives. Okay. Um, I just talked to one of my uh, partners over at the scene. Over there. Um, I just have a... I gotta clarify something, man. Okay? Why is there blood in the room? So, Tyrone, here's, here's what, and we're still in the very beginning of this, okay? Yes, sir. But I wanna ask you something, and I wanna put, put it to you this way, okay? Right now, when somebody watches this, okay, they're gonna, they're gonna make, there's gonna be a canvas, okay? There's a painting that you're, you're, there's a picture that you're painting right now, okay? The one light is this, what you told me, okay? You're a war veteran. You made a mistake tonight, okay? A tragic mistake. However, what I don't want to see happen is, Tyrone, if, if any of this part doesn't make sense to us, I got to ask you about it, okay? The other side of this is Tyrone's a cold-blooded murderer. No, sir. Okay. Then why is there blood and shell casings in his room? I don't know, sir. I didn't. I didn't mean to kill. No. Okay. But understand, there's also evidence to show that the young man was more than likely trying to get away from you. There's blood on the bottom of his socks. Okay? There's blood in his bedroom. What it appears is the body was moved. Did you move that body? No, sir. Tyrone, remember. Yes, sir. Tragic mistake. Cold blooded murderer. I'm not a murderer, sir. Okay. Did you move that body? No, sir. Did you move anybody? No, sir. Tyrone, look. I, I'm here just to tell the, tell your story, okay? And it's it's all gonna be on the video. Yes. Sir. Okay. But Tyrone, I gotta I gotta know, man. I gotta yes, know. Sir. Someone's gonna wanna know what happened here, okay? I wanna know what happened here. This is killing me inside right yes, now. Sir. Okay. You seem like a you seem like a, a guy who just fell on bad bad times, and just something happened. And, and if that's what happened, that that's. It's a tragedy, it sucks. <laughs> well, Tyrone, you know, th it appears that what you're telling me doesn't make sense with the scene, okay? So again, Tyrone, I'll, 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 I wanna just make sure because I don't have the luxury of just going on, you know what, Tyrone seems like a nice guy. I don't have that luxury, I just, Tell the facts of what happened, okay? Yes, sir. And I can only go on what you tell me. Yes, sir. If what you tell me doesn't make sense with that scene, because the thing is this, man, and I, I've been doing this job a long time, I know that evidence will never lie to me. Yes, sir. Okay? But people will try to minimize and try yes, to make themselves be out, out to be something that it's not. Okay, I get it. You and your girl were, were were having were having an argument with you. She said something nasty to you that she should have never said to you before. I'd be pissed too. Okay. I I I I have never lost a child like you've lost a child. Okay. I've been through some pretty tough times myself. Okay dealing with loss, okay? But I can tell you this, I don't know how you feel about that, but if someone were to tell me about an experience that I gone through and said something nasty about it, I'd be upset, okay? 
Yes, sir. And I sometimes, sister. I know you were. I had to call my dad to come and get me. I know. But you also picked up a gun and started firing at people. Then why is that? Why is there blood in his room? Explain that to me. No, sir. I didn't move anyone, sir. What? When I looked up, standing there again. I Where was he standing? Him. Where was he standing? I, when I when I looked up, he was standing there. I How just, far away from you? Or was she? In the you, sir. I just picked up the gun and kept firing. And you fired at him while he was on the ground. I just kept did you fire at him while he was on the ground? I just kept firing, sir. Okay. I just kept firing. You can't explain now how there's blood in his bedroom? I didn't kill no one in his bedroom, sir. But I didn't move his body, sir. How did his body get there, man? And he looked up and he was there and I kept firing, sir. Okay. But you weren't in fear of him? I don't know what was happening, sir. I just was shot. It's a 10 year old boy. I don't know that, sir. I, I went. I, Tyrone, I'm, again, I'm not there. I didn't see it, okay? <clears throat> but when I do go there and I see it, I hope, I hope that it matches your story. Yes, what I'm being told right now, it doesn't. Okay? Yes, sir. It doesn't match. Which, again, remember over here? Yes, sir. And over here? Where yes, do you want to be? I'm not a murderer, sir. Where do you want to be? I'm not. Do you, want a tragic, do, you, do you want a tragic situation where shit went bad? Or do you want Tyrone is manipulating everything and he murdered Thanks. his girlfriend? Thanks. And then he chased, his, and he chased his ten, her 10 year old son throughout the house killed him, sir. and then dumped his body next to the mother. I can't chase anyone. Okay. I'm not in your shoes. I don't know how you feel right now, okay? I, I don't. But just, I got to know, man, okay? Because yes, the evidence is not going to lie to me, okay? Yes, and if the evidence shows this side, I don't know what to tell you, my friend. Yes, sir. Okay? No. But when, when somebody watches this someday, okay, what do you want them to see? The rest of my life. Okay, I know you do. We all are going to have to deal with this the rest of our lives. Okay? Okay. Well, there are two people dead tonight. Okay? I want to show you a picture. Who's that? <laughs> Spell her son's name for me. <laughs> Sounds like I was trying to protect his mama tonight. That's what I think. I wasn't doing anything, sir. The only noise that he heard was me coming off from my knee. We've been doing this for a while, okay? <laughs> and like Detective Florio say, there's things in these investigations that don't lie to us. <laughs> okay? Nobody's sitting here saying that you're lying to us. But one thing that we do know <laughs> is that we have our squad mates at that apartment and they're telling us something different than what you're telling us. Hold on, just hear me out, okay? Your girlfriend tonight questioned your manhood and that pissed you off. And then she did the unthinkable. She insulted you by calling you a bitch. And she had the audacity to compare that to what your son did. And that pissed you off and that made you snap. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you don't understand what, what we're telling you. 
But something else happened in this room. Some, something happened in this room. Follow me. We need you to tell us what happened in this room. We know something happened in there. The only one in this whole conversation or all of the, the people that are involved in the, that, that were at the apartment at the time of this incident that went down were you, correct? Yes, sir. The only person that I know of that had a gun is you. Yes, sir. I got shell casings in the room. I don't know, sir. Okay. I didn't. Uh, the, the only person that had a gun is you. There's shell casings in the room. How'd they get there? <laughs> we know you did it because you told us that you shot him both. That is true. Where did you shoot him? Right beside his You know that doesn't make a difference? Because what, what the scene is telling us, <laughs> Detective Floyd already told you, people can manipulate us and not always be truthful with us, but the scene is never going to lie. That's where we're going to keep that picture. Are we going to have... We're going to have this guy over here. I can't move any. Okay. Tyrone, I'm going to I'm going to have to disagree with you there, okay? I'm going to tell you why I'm going to disagree with you. Because I know that you can move. you can't can't move great, but I know you can move around because you told me you moved from the bedroom to the outside yes, before sir. the cops came. So I know you can move around. Yes, sir. Okay? So it's very possible that you could have moved from the master bedroom to because he was scared and he was trying to get away from you. I didn't say you murdered anybody. It's an accident. Could have been an accident. I wouldn't do it, I just wouldn't. Well, you're the only one with a gun, right? Yes, sir. So there's only one explanation for the shell casings and bullet holes in his room. I'm sir. I, I, my life is yeah. over. Why is your life over? Tell me why. Tyrone, how much time passed from the time that you went outside and called for help to the time? <laughs> Not even. Not even what? Not even a minute. Not even a minute? No, sir. That's pretty fast. I went out just outside the doorway just to the gate. When you went out to the doorway, to the gate? To the gate right there at the tree, and then I hopped that kid because I couldn't see anyone. How did you do that with that injury? On this bench, sir. You hopped? Yes. You did that all in one minute? Yes, sir. It was long. And then I grabbed the house phone and sat at the front door. I can hear that part. I know that. I know about that part. But your story is everything happened in the master bedroom. I'm asking you. Did everything happen in the master bedroom? Is that what you're st sticking to? Sir. Sorry? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't if I, remember. If I, if I can show otherwise, what do you think should happen? My life is over, sir. What do you think should happen? I don't know what you mean. If I can show that what you're telling me doesn't make sense, yes, sir. what do you think should happen? I'm going to prison, sir, anyway. Okay. But I didn't murder them first. I didn't kill them. I was trying to leave, sir. I, I get that. I get that, Tyrone. I do. And my dad was already on the phone. I know, I know. And we're going to talk to him. We will. But right now, Tyrone, I wanna I want you to be able to understand, okay, that what you're telling me and what I will more than likely be able to prove are two very different things. Yes, sir. Okay? Tyrone, I'm not out to get you on anything. I just want you to tell me the truth. I understand, sir. Okay? I'm telling you as I know. Okay. You're telling me as you know. Yes, sir. I did. Okay. All right, Tyrone, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have the deputy stand by outside here with you. What we're probably going to do is we're going to move you down to one of the rooms down there, okay? And i got to work on some paperwork, and I'll 
be back to tell you exactly what's going to go on, okay? I'm going to stop this. 2213.